It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. You should introduce yourself as the king. Well, I... I, no, I, I, I Jess, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Did he, uh, did he pick the right game? Uh, no. the, the, the shoe on a fluke, did he pick the right game? I, uh, I picked the right game. Did we game? ever leave? Uh, six, <laughs> six times. That's uh, right. Over the weekend, wow, against the spread, nice. that's all that's right. six of the playoff games. Six and oh. I told you Friday, I said, this is easy. It's just like going to the ATM and picking the money up. <laughs> but, you didn't, you know, I, but you didn't double your bets on any of them. I no, didn't. I don't know. But I, I look at that as maybe that's a good omen. But also, are you betting money? <laughs> I don't think we need to muddy this conversation with a real I'll, I'll uh, explain, commerce. I'll explain how betting works later. The point is, congratulations to not just if you don't bet, If you don't bet money, Jess, you don't get any any juice, man. Yeah. Any, <laughs> any yeah. get up and go, man. Uh, Rick King from Sheraton, Iowa, was up against the Chicks, during, but they agreed in every game. Yeah, we sure, so sure we're all. A, he's another genius. I think we have to get him back on the air this week. We're both 6-0. Uh, to pick uh, the, the next set of games. Games. You know, four coming up this weekend. It's only fair. Yeah. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, congratulations, Mr. McGee. The Rams had that look last night, that Super Bowl look. We say it every year. There's a team that kind of opens up. And that would and, be a home game for like them it. if they make it to the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, it's they're like a year in a row. Super Bowl going to be at SoFi Stadium. That's right. You raised your hand up, yes? What was the score, Mr. McGee? Well, the score was uh, 34 11. to 11. Wow. Well, it was an odd. I'm sure the huh. boys at Elias Sports Bureau have something about this. The uh, score has never been before in the NFL, 34 to 11. 11 is a weird number. Jake, I've come to find when you uh, bet money on the over-under, yeah, you yeah. always know the final score of the game <laughs> and also what it adds up to. That's and right. there was three and a half less than the day I'm over. My yeah, friend. yeah. Oh. The over on this one was 48 and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you are. I had to explain go. the over under idea to Kelly last evening when I mentioned that I have proposed. Was oh, this some kind of sexy talk you guys are doing? Oh, yeah, you know, I proposed that four, I think, is the over under for Super Bowl commercials feature, featuring oh, oh. a Manning. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you think it's a good number, four ish? I said five. I think that's going to. Uh, and see, this, any Manning in any commercial counts as a one, and if all four are in one commercial, it still counts as one. You're not supposed to try to predict what's going to happen. You're supposed to try to pick a number that people will bet the most. So that's we're betting the on deal. the number of appearances, not the number of Manning brothers. It's just the number right. of commercials. In other words, if there's one commercial with with all four of them, that's well, just the, one. The, the three one. brothers and dad. Uh, the, and I would also accept the mom. Uh, <laughs> any Manning presence in a commercial would count. Okay. I, cause, I mean, obviously, they're going to be at, certainly a couple with Peyton. Sure. Apparently, last night, Peyton said a naughty word. on. Yeah, he podcast. said the S word on a hot mic. He can't <laughs> hear S, is what he said. Peyton was being a human being, Tom. What the hell's going on there? Yeah, I... Yeah, I He's allowed. Chick, you know how Peyton pronounces his brother's name, not Eli, but... Cooper. Cooper. And, and I, you know... It's not, it's not Cooper, it's Cooper. Cooper. And you know that the Rams have a great receiver named... That's right. Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. And he's saying Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. Cup. Like it's some weird Frisbee golf tournament. I don't know what the Cooper Cup is. Uh, the Cooper Cup. Look, you hill jack. It's Cooper. <laughs> so we'll see. And I, I, I don't approve of the fact that... I will never. All those get Super over Bowl it. commercials are they're, they're always out there before the game. I, was I like, will never. Yeah, get over I don't like that. That either. one morning, I think it was Peyton's first time. He came in on the show. He was in the he was in the hallway hanging around, and I came in and walked around. And Peyton looks at me and goes, "Oh, hey, chick," and walks by me, and I went. Oh my God, that's Peyton Manning. He just said, "Hey, Chick, I, I, what, what the hell's going on here?" <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, he was a super nice guy. I first met him. Eli's a jerk, but <laughs> Eli's very nice. I first, I first met Peyton at the uh, college slam dunk competition. I, I was a judge or some idiotic thing. I forget what was going on, but it was back in the green room, and uh, he had uh, just been signed, and he. Uh, I was in the corner minding my own business, and this guy walks up, taps me on the shoulder, and he goes, "Hi, I'm Peyton Manning," which would be sort of like. I don't know, maybe Joe Biden walking up and going, hi, I'm the president. Yeah. yeah. Fully yeah. aware. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he's a nice guy. Well, I, it, I, I, Do you think four is the number of five? I think five is the number that would simulate uh -huh. betting. But if you want to go ahead and say four, that's fine. That's a lot of commercials because mm -hmm. those Super Bowl commercials are very expensive. Well, they're going to have two or three Frito-Lay commercials, I would think. Uh, they're ramping up to the playoffs right now with the Frito-Lay and Jerome Bettis and Eli and oh, Peyton. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, oh, Mr. Oscar, you're available now. Hello. That's it. <laughs> Good break. <laughs>
You look Thanks. like you. Uh, you look like you look like you have COVID. I don't know if you oh, do. Oh, great! But you. We'll find out in eleven minutes. <laughs> okay. Jeff, it's only ten minutes. Did you read the test? Uh, uh, I did not. You, uh. you got to read the dang. You know why am I the only person in this whole building that's buying these tests? I brought and when mine everybody too. Everybody needs them. Yeah. Hey, big Will. I'm the most irresponsible idiot around. I know it's great. Thanks for bringing the one over I took. Oh, I'm sorry. Both of them. Uh, Mr. Oski is in Mr. Godwin's room. Pat is uh, his hardware is all in place, but he has to have a special medical exam today, so he'll probably be back tomorrow. God knows. Uh, the what's it, the over under on Pat being here? Uh, is it a psychiatric evaluation? <laughs> we don't have that kind of money in our insurance fund. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, Mr. Oske, you will know if you, you've got the COVID because you're concerned because you were in a car with uh, Josh, who may or may not have the COVID. We just don't know. Right. We don't know. He's still sick, though. So, yeah, he's not feeling well. <laughs> um, now, uh, we have a, many things to get to today, um, not the least of which is our discussion yesterday with um, with with Jeff Oske. And uh, we, I, I believe you started the discussion with, uh, with the, the fact that you had your tongue pierced. Is that correct? Uh, I think Willie brought... I normally don't tell that to people. <laughs> I think Willie brought that up. I think it's important that people know how trashy you both used to be and you are. Oh, yeah. and, and, then, and then Jess, you... Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I pierced everything. You got yeah. every, everything yeah. pierced. Per, yeah, above the belt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, like, let's clarify that. Yes, uh, please. Uh, yeah, that, you know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but it does to me. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I cringe even <laughs> thinking about that. <laughs> not to mention the difficulty of finding it, not in you personally. <laughs> <laughs> Just in general. Did you say the difficulty in finding it? Yeah, you're some, some you're talking to Tom. Guy with, one, guy with one of those jewelers God. watches on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold it. Now, when I first interviewed with you, Tom, I doubt you'll remember this, but I had a nose ring, and that is all you stared at for the entire <laughs> meal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just dead aim. And then yeah. I was like, if I want to work here, I better take that out. Yeah, so. same. I started working here, worked with it uh, six months. Six months I had it probably, and I was like, and Tom, every time you talk to Tom, he'd just look at your nose. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to take this out. You know, when I was a kid, I can remember watching the movie Moby Dick. Yeah. And freaking out when the guy had the tattoos on his face. Yeah. You know, and then uh, the, and, and the guys would, would have the uh, earrings. and. You have been imprinted very yeah, early. No, I just, that, that was just completely freakish. Now, place to go to get coffee. Everyone's got more hardware in their face than I have in my car. Damn kids. <laughs> No, times have changed. Well, Check. yeah. A facial tattoo would completely freak you out if you saw one 40 years ago. Nobody, well, I, no, nobody uh, had that. A, a tattoo 40 years ago would have like, hmm, you must have been in the service or something. Yeah, I mean, and I've got nine or whatever. And it used to be meaningful, as I've said many yeah. times. If someone had Asian calligraphy of some sort, it meant they'd probably been there. Mm. Now it means you've been to the mall. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I actually have a neck tattoo. On the back of my neck. I don't know if you guys have seen that. No. I have my astrological sign because apparently at one time I was a teen unwed mother of three. <laughs> <laughs> Tattooed right on the back of my neck. Right. And now, Kostaki, I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, Chick McGee's famous uh, shoo of the well, Week everyone's, broadcast. everyone's heard about it. Uh, a six for six. <laughs> Playoffs. Six for six. Six, and, uh, six Again, and oh, against baby. the spread, yes, my sir. friend. Yes, sir. Had them all. Playoffs. You're Playoffs. in playoff form. That's right. No, no, no problem at all, man. Now, no with your vast knowledge awesome. of the NFL, Kostaki, do you uh, like to occasionally place a wager? Oh, I do. Uh, absolutely. How did you? Makes do, it a little more fun. How'd you do uh, last I'm, weekend? I agree. I like to I like to make very small wagers so I don't get angry during the game. Ah. <laughs> ah. But I have a rooting interest for something, mm. you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the props. I like to bet on like player props. They're fun. But uh, here's I have I have I'm placing one out there right now. Um, I'm wondering how many commercials will feature one or more Mannings, uh, and this would include Cooper, uh, Archie, obviously oh, yeah. Eli and Peyton. I think the over under is four. For the Super Bowl, oh. what do you think? Hmm. Wow, that's a fun wager. I, that sounds about right. Yeah, those guys are. No, unfortunately, guys are they, now they release the commercials before the game, which kind of takes some of the fun out of it. But yeah, that's right. So we'll, we'll keep uh, we'll but, keep thinking about that one and see if we have to adjust the number. Yeah, I'm happy to see Cooper in in one of the ads. I always <laughs> I always root for that guy. <laughs> oh, I loved him in the game show. 
Uh, he was yeah. in the College Bowl. I thought he was really funny. There's a great documentary out of there out there called uh, The Book of Manning, and it uh, goes over Archie Manning and, and uh, of course, his sons and all that. And <clears throat> Coop, uh, Cooper, as, uh, as uh, Peyton, Peyton would say, Cooper was a, quite the wide receiver, but he had a, a debilitating injury that could that precluded him from competing any longer. And is it correct to say that is it his son that's going to be the next yeah, superstar? Yeah, uh, Arch Manning is the uh, next quarterback of uh, the future. Yeah. But I do love their commercials. It'll be interesting to see how they do. Uh, Kostaki Kadamopoulos is a very fine stand-up comedian besides a sports prognosticator. Yes, he is. And it looks like Appleton, Wisconsin at the Skyline Comedy Club coming up the 27th to the 29th of this month. That's a good club. And then the yeah. Ast the Astra, Astra Theater in Jasper coming up February 25th. And then the Laporte Yacht Club, February 26th. You going to do some yachting, Kostaki? Yeah, I'm going to do some yachting up there in northern Indiana. Oh, that sounds <laughs> like <Nice>. fun. <laughs> we dodged a bullet on the Appleton gig. Uh, the schedule came out uh, for this coming weekend. Huh? And it has the Packers on Saturday night. Yeah. So thankfully I'm not there this weekend. It's the one after. Ah. That would be very lonely on Saturday <laughs> night. The yeah, club. they're, uh, they're going to be eliminated this weekend. So. Hey! Oh, oh, what oh, happened? Hey. What happened? What's going on? Oh, that's uh, hey, Wisconsin, plug your ears. That's oh, what I'm rooting for. Don't tell for. my guy that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, well, uh, we'll see. You never know what happens. You never know. Right. Is, are you, is that one of your shoe-in picks? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What's the, what is the current spread? I think the Niners are getting six, I think, or yeah. six and a half. That sounds like about that. right. Yeah. Let's see here. That's about right. Right yeah. here on my phone. Okay. Uh, 49ers are getting five and a half right now as I'm talking. Yeah, there you go. Okay. okay. You're saying outright win? Who, the 49ers? Yeah. Uh, I don't want to go that far yet. Yeah, well, you just said Lambo. eliminated this yeah. week, referencing. Okay, Green maybe Bay. I do want to go out that far. That's yeah. maybe so. You okay. don't know. Yeah. Rooting know. for yeah. Sure. Kostaki, could we get your picks before this segment is over? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, okay, well, good. We'll yeah, look, feel free to fire away. I'm, okay, let me let me pull up the schedule here. Okay, we got uh, you got to go Titans over Bengals. Although the Bengals winning would be fun story. Yeah, it, it is fun, and they're also getting three and a half, and that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, mm -hmm. but do the Titans cover? I, th I think the, so. Yeah, the, there's no the Titans get back Derrick Henry, and they were already good. Yeah, Ooh, right, right. That's a fun game. And then the Niners uh, getting uh, five and a half Saturday night. And I would imagine oh. Green Bay, it's going to be what uh, thirty below, probably. Yeah. 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 But you wouldn't be shocked if the Packers won by 25, right? Exactly. And that's why we like to gamble. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's called gambling. A that's bit of right. Fun. That's exactly right. The, the the big coin flip one, the one where you'll feel bad when, when whoever loses doesn't get to go to the next round is Bill's Chiefs. That's the really, that to me is the most exciting game. They uh, are two uh, great, great teams. Yeah, they really two are. Two great teams. Goodness gracious. And I'll that pick, is the smallest point Chiefs. spread difference. That's just uh, Bill's plus two and a half. So real, I don't know. I don't know. The right. way the way Josh Allen is playing right now, and he's yeah, getting, he's on fire. They're getting uh, that was the perfect uh, offense. Did you did yeah. you hear this? Did no hear punts, this? no field yep. goals, no yep. fourth downs. Yep. Incredible. No turnovers, no fourth downs. That's astounding. They scored seven touchdowns in a row <laughs> yeah. on seven seven uh, you know touches, seven. and then on the eighth one they knelt down to win. That's a pretty good. Yeah. Did you hear about the uh, speaking of last week's games? Did you hear about the fireworks problem? No. The oh. Chiefs at Arrowhead, uh, their staff uh, ran out of fireworks <laughs> because of the firework uh, celebration after each touchdown. And I believe they scored seven. And That's uh, great. That's all they had on hand, evidently. Oops. That's a great problem. You know, in the in the 2019 uh, spelling bee, they ran out of words. Oh, well, that's right. I remember. I remember. That. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never run a spelling bee, but I would think, you know, top of the list of things to prep for is a big <laughs> pile of words. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, Seems the like only there's thing I can an think, endless stream of them. I honestly think that maybe the fire marshal, and possibly with very good reason, limits the amount of ordinance they can have underneath Section 7. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Geez. It's probably. They, they, they may be. Well, you this know. tragedy is, is beautiful and uh, it brought to you by. <laughs> yeah. Eight Finger Larry's House of Fireworks. <laughs> Going back to the Green Bay game, do they play Saturday night? Saturday night. Saturday yeah. night. Low of two in Green Bay yeah, on Saturday go. night. Oh, goodness there gracious. Go. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. got to work into that San Francisco offense. Oh. I don't think uh, Jimmy G is used to two, two <laughs> degrees. That's right. 
He's used to a warm reception everywhere he goes. That's right. Yeah. Well, Kostaki, my, my upset uh, pick is uh, Rams. Rams over Bucks. That's what I'll pick. No, I don't think that's an upset at all. I think uh, really. The, I think the Rams have that look, and Tampa Bay's all banged up on the offensive line, and plus they don't have Godwin and. They're like us. They don't have Godwin. It's on that. They're on that. <laughs> <We're> on that. <laughs> and you, these aren't your official picks, but you are going to pick. I'm not saying, but okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying. No, so, well, uh, let's make fun of the Cowboys because that's always fun, yes, right? Yes, let's do that. Yes. Cowboys game had more flags than a meeting of the United Nations. It was uh, crazy. Uh, more uh, flags than a gay pride parade. It was <laughs> more flags than a gay pride parade at the United Nations. <laughs> the the Cowboys should buy an amusement park and call it 14 flags. They, that's ridiculous. 14 flags on the team in the playoffs. Uh, there's only four flags shy of a golf course. Which, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes sense because their play was subpar. Oh. Uh, <laughs> If the Steelers give Big Ben a gold watch, he can loan it to Mike McCarthy so it can practice clock management. What, what happened? Oh, they brought up a he good point on every, on the shows I'm watching. It's like the Cowboys have been this Cowboys team all year, except for like a couple of uh, I'm yeah, one, or, right. one or two instances. They can't run the clock. They're di they're they're constantly being penalized. It, they've just been a mess like that all year, and no one was surprised. Uh, least of all this reporter. Thank you. Right. Bet him right. in the ass, didn't That's it? right. As my running back, one of my running back teammates in high school would have said, the 49ers beat the ass. Okay. <laughs> beat the ass. Beat the ass. Beat the ass. Beat the ass. Okay. Beat the ass. Yes, I'm writing that down. That's what Cubby well, the Cubby hey, well, I have a question, because oh, yeah. to you. I like to interrupt the flow. Yeah, would, wouldn't right. subpar be good? Yes, it should be good. That's I mean, a if good you're point. if you're, you're below golf. if you're below yeah, par, well, that's what the analogy is. That's the whole goal. Yeah, if you're subpar, that's what you're trying to do. And you finished how fourteen he under. That wow! Phrase. Yeah, we've so, inverted it. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm that that just nitpicking. No, you're right. I agree. With you. <laughs> uh, Mike McCarthy called a running play from midfield with 14 seconds left. It's it's like you let your cat finish your game of Madden. It's like what? <laughs> what <are> you, <laughs> why would you? <laughs> Sprinkles, get over here. <laughs> Sprinkles, what are you Why doing? You? Sprinkles. It's clearly a passing situation. Sprinkles. You don't punt on third down, Sprinkles. <laughs> Come on. And they blame the officials for not hurrying into position fast enough. To be fair, they were still laughing about the running play. You know? yeah. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> that was a bad play call. Having to wake up your parents in the middle of the night because you're arrested in Tijuana is a better call. That's yeah. a, you know, <laughs> Mel Hello? Gibson had a better call. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yikes. OJ Simpson tweeted, Jerry, it's time to try a different type of coach. Hey, if anyone knows about making tough cuts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roethlisberger said the Steelers didn't get the happy ending they hoped for. Well, the Patriots are done, too. Call Robert Kraft. Head to Florida. You know, <laughs> happy ending. The Bills smashed yes. the Patriots. Oh, that was fun. Uh, oh, the Patriots only played one more game than the Falcons, and they looked like the Falcons doing it. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> They kicked Belichick out of the tournament like an unvaccinated tennis player. <laughs> oh, timely. <laughs> Belichick also had no shot. Uh, Single-digit temperatures. And that was just inside Urban Meyer's house. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the air temp in Buffalo is four degrees, but with the wind chill, it felt like a Belichick press conference. Very cold. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> Things were grim. They This week, Belichick's hoodie was flying at half staff. <laughs> Things went so bad for Eagles fans, they booed themselves for watching. <laughs> Philly, Philly would have been better off starting the Hotel California Eagles. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> At least then they would have had a peaceful, easy feeling. Uh, oh. Wrong album. Usually when someone from Philly <laughs> chokes this bad, it's because you offered him a vegetable. <laughs> Tom Hanks looks healthier in the movie oh, Philadelphia. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here we are. No, we can't laugh about that. Yeah. Uh, Travis Etienne said missing the rookie season was uh, like going to a birthday party and not getting cake. Was, is he trying to explain football to Jim Gaffigan? <laughs> <laughs> Also, I would like to be paid a half a million dollars to not eat cake. Yeah. Uh, the NFL currently only has one black head coach, or as John Gruden calls it, one too many black head coaches. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's John Gruden. It's not Kostaki. It's not, it's, not, no, it's not me. <laughs> Eric Bieniemy, uh, coaching candidate with a lot of buzz. His wife also has buzz because, of course, 
she's sleeping with the enemy. Oh. Anybody? Oh. Players are taking Viagra now. The fans are throwing sex toys. I'm starting to wonder what the F in NFL stands for. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the story, right? Bart Scott said players in cold games might want to take Viagra to help with circulation. Hey, whatever you need to do to get up for the game. That's what I say. Sure. Yeah. Do up. Yeah, Coach up. said to play hard. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we close on 10 of these? Sure. Yeah, I love these. Yeah. It is Viagra. You know, it's fun. If you thought being on the bottom of the pile was scary before. <laughs> <laughs> if I were the Bills, I too would have a hard on for beating the Patriots. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> if, if your erection lasts for more than four hours, consult the head coach. <laughs> and if necessary, the head nurse. <laughs> No, honey, it's for the game. I swear. You thought it hurt to be tackled by your hair. <laughs> <laughs> they might have to rename Hard Knocks, you see. It's a lot of Viagra. I hope that was a stiff arm. <laughs> Football, a game of inches. Uh, and this last one sent in by uh, Leighton Harper, which made me giggle. Uh, Bill Belichick tried it and got taller. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight. <laughs>